Salmon. And I said I was going to do the voiceover of him, so here we go. This is him entering in his dressage test. Um, and I was so delighted with the whole way that he went and his mind as well. Um, he's a very sensitive horse. He really tries hard, but he's, he is um, a jolly horse that um, just takes enough work. And we were slightly worried of the atmosphere and everything of how he would deal with it or not get too excited. Um, but he did a lovely start. Um, definitely something that I found and will still work on through his strength and um, physically is just getting stiller to the contact in the rain. That shoulder rim was actually really good. Um, he can easily just slightly bob up and down in his frame and I think that's purely just still because of his um, strength of holding himself up in the advanced outline and standing on his own legs. So it's just a matter of time but as you can see he's got beautiful movement, he's lovely and loose, lovely paces. Um, that's lovely outline there showing across the short side. Um, and again, that was really smooth into his half pass. That way, he's a lovely sensitive horse to ride. He's very and uh, nearly there too. He over anticipated slightly to swap over and nearly went to lead with his quarters, but um, I got there hopefully just quick enough to make the front end match up. Woodhead would have been shouting at me then, I'm sure. Um, and here is just getting to breathe in the walk, breathe in the walk. He is, he's very light off your aid, light in the rain. So I was just trying to keep, keep walking, keep walking and keep a feel. I at no point wanted to just feel that my legs came off him to get that jog stride. I've got to keep brave in, in myself of taking a deep breath and walk 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 keep feeling so yes they were um they were nice the first one was small enough it actually nearly felt in the first one that i'd stuck behind and hadn't kept um, um changing over and marching to the beat of the walk um because i'd made it a little bit too small um really nice and straight into the extended there's a nice relaxation and over track behind and he got the marks for for that. Keep walking, keep walking, because he can jog. It was a matter of keep the same, keep breathing, keep feeling like you're a bit of a sack of potatoes to keep the re relaxation into him. Shorten your reins, but without picking up contact. That's again, just try to change the horse's balance without getting a stronger, tighter rein. Lovely intercanter there. I made him wait round the corner, make sure he was straight, and then um, extended canter down the long side. That's where you can pick up your extra marks with the horses that, you know, do your transition in the first place so balanced. I could then wait into that turn to really show the difference to try and pick up the extra mark. Again, he's lovely in his half pass. I have to watch that way that he doesn't lead, which he didn't, and I think he got big marks for them. Um, canter I find a little bit easier than the trot in him of keeping his balance uphill. These are still a little bit green, his changes. He will do them, they're just not, um, um, Ian, as Ian Woodhead says to me, you have to definitely make sure they happen. You will not just float across and ask for your change like your older established one sometimes you will have to set it up and send him the postcard that a change is coming for him to still at this minute get it again a lovely half pass lovely and straight there really pleased with his frame um coming out of that straight here sit bound sit up straight good boy um I think it was just a little bit of a jump flat through onto his shoulders. I think he got sort of fives and sixes for it. He didn't swing too bad. Um, they're not big marks for his changes yet, but they weren't a late change that got a four or made a mistake. But there's work to be done. Good boy. And lovely into his halt. 
at the end and he, you can see he got quite excited then by the applause that he got. Um, I was delighted with him, I was very proud of him, I was obviously very proud for Nick Knox, she's the one been um, working him for the last year or so when I got to reap the reward, rewards but I was just pleased with how we had him mentally um, because he's quite a jolly little chap um, and so it gave her every chance to do the work nicely but it was very emotional when we came out. Um, he's now onto the cross country here. This was a good thing to happen to me at the beginning. So he jumped big over there. I thought, woof, I thought I was back quiet enough to it. But he really threw a jump and landed way out. And I don't know him very well at all. And that was the first thing that struck me then was, gosh, this horse has got way more stride landing out the back of combinations than I thought he might have done. So that was a that was a short four strides and he definitely made up plenty of ground. So that was a um, my first learning curve about him. Um, this was very sweet. He did the nice five strides there and I thought the three would be easy, which it was, but he was very straight on his line. He can jump a little bit off to his right. Um, Nick's warn, warned me that from the start. Again, I would have thought that's developing um, him developing and also he can go you know disunited a couple of times not when he's galloping at speed but in between jumps non turning and something and again he's not the finished article yet at all he's got a load of power this is where they took the um, fence 7 A and B out um, so we just skimmed round the side there um, we've got all the way round now to after the first water, which he jumped through the first water. Really great, very brave. Um, and the coffin, a good old-fashioned coffin, which he was brilliant at. Very, very neat and sure-footed through. So he was giving me loads of confidence at this stage. These two gates were fiddly little uprights. And, you know, he was very neat. As you could see, I got him right back for it knowing that he makes up the distance that was my job to really get him back balanced and well before coming to I think this was about fence 15 under the trees popped in nicely made up the five very easily just ran at it slightly and got the flag we were in no danger of getting outside it but it um it was probably where things maybe slightly without realising were heading. You see he lands and made up ground there of the five strides. And again making up ground there on the six strides. And you know it, it was honest as the days long he was flying. But you can see how far he lands out the back and is running off on the landing. Um, he was showing no signs to me of being tired. Loads of gallops still there. But just on his balance front. Maybe it was just gone out the front, woof. And that's where it all came to came to an end of leading the dressage or um, leading Bramham. Um, I spun round, came back to it again, popped over nicely, off he went. So they show the replay straight away. As you can see, he jumped well, just lands. He's disunited, he's swinging him, himself around a little bit. Now he was not... He never really lost. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Oh. Don't you just love them? Trying to get through that before getting back to school. Right, we have to have a pause. Pause. I don't know how we're going to do that. Thomas? <laughs> right, I'm going to see if I can get back to that without being booed and everyone who's probably spilt their gin or their cup of tea or something video I've been booed we're gonna get the slow-mo now um, when it comes back through but we've gone a long way he was just probably starting to tire mentally this is a real endurance test and disunited and he hadn't really clocked that on. You can see the stride before, the shoulder was probably already going. It did come as a surprise to me. 
to be honest, because he'd felt very straight all the way around. And it felt like if I did it another 10 times, would there be anything I'd done differently before he'd run out? No. After he'd run out, would I have just needed to have taken two or three harder pulls at him up at the top of the hill to say, one more real serious question, come on. He just got a little bit onward. He's running loads of gallops still left, which is really encouraging from him over that course with the terrain. It's a real stamina test. Um, and so that was really pleasing. And he gave me a great feel, just one of those things, big pats. Um, it wasn't meant to be the fairy tale, but um, what a lovely little horse to go around there. Um, he's got a lovely jump, Jeremy. He's a real careful, careful little horse with loads of jump, loads of scope. And again, very pleased he had number three off here, douche behind. It was nothing really of any significance. He jumped a super round and do you know what? I even thought to myself going in, I don't even know really which buttons to totally press of, you know, they get used to different riders, different feels. Some people have more contact, have more feel, give a kick on takeoff, don't hold, you know, all those sorts of things that is, um, you know, very different. And so it was, you know, very pleasing. He jumped the triple bar great. This was an eight short strides down to the double. Really nice through there. I didn't really worry so much. I think I was just over the time by three seconds. And to me, it was just getting a nice, nice round into him. That he was confident and happy that I was on him. <laughs> and finish the competition well. I'm very proud for Nick. I'm honoured to ride him for Nick to recommend him to me for the Lamberts. And I'm very excited about what we'll do for the rest of the season. I think we're going to aim for Blenheim, and hopefully with a few runs now. And um, we got to know each other pretty quickly. Um, but we'll hopefully do the job and fly the flag for Nick for the rest of this year as well as we can but what a lovely little chap he is and we look forward to our future.